If you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and click this YouTube bell next to the subscribe button to get notification of most amazing videos from Top List. Top List presents 10 Gross Things That Keep You Healthy. Number 10. Farting and Burping Don't be ashamed, it's good for you. During the digestive process, the body produces gas and where does it go? To the nearest exit. It may sound and smell unpleasant, but it's absolutely necessary to keep us from exploding. If you're more prone to gas, you may consider backing off on gas-producing foods like broccoli, onions, and cabbage. Number 9. Pus When you're squeezing a pimple, the sight of pus is always a bit unnerving and nauseating. But it's an important part of our immune system. Your body's response to infection is to send an army of soldiers or white blood cells to fight the infection. The more of these white blood cells die in battle, the more pus will show up at the surface. Of course, if you have a bad infection with a lot of pus, it's a good idea to help your body fight the infection by cleaning the wound regularly and seeking a doctor to get antibiotics, then letting all your white blood cells do all the work. Number 8. Poop. It's not just a way of your body to eliminate unnecessary waste. It's also an indicator of your health for you to check. Small hard pebbles indicate dehydration, while thin poop and diarrhea are potential signs of illness or malfunctioning gallbladder. Poop should be formed like a sausage and should be easily eliminated from your body. Yeah. Number 7. Mucus. Without mucus, you'd likely be dead. As Dr. Michael M. Johns III explains, it is the oil in the engine. Without mucus, the engine seizes. Mucus lubricates your airways so you can breathe properly and also protects your gastrointestinal tract so you can digest your food. The stringy, sticky stuff also works to trap bacteria, dust, and other unmentionables you breathe in that shouldn't be in your lungs. It even has antibodies and enzymes that kill bacteria and viruses to prevent you from getting sick. A healthy body produces a half gallon of mucus every day with your nose pushing out a new batch every 20 minutes. How delightful. Most of it is swallowed before you even notice. However, when your body is irritated by an allergen or a virus, you start producing mucus of a thinner consistency to force out the offending intruder, which is why you notice having a runny nose. Number 6. Sweat the $11 billion antiperspirant and deodorant industry is a pretty big indication that most people don't like dripping with sweat all day. In fact, our sweat glands don't become fully developed until we're about 12. Sweat is necessary to cool our body, and although sweat itself has no smell, the bacteria on our bodies do smell. Unsurprisingly, areas like armpits tend to have more bacteria, which is why we tend to be noticeable rank when we sweat a lot. The smell is also affected by the food we eat, such as onions and curry powder. Number 5. Water Blisters These usually appear when rubbing occurs on the feet, like on a long hike or when you're wearing the wrong shoes. White blisters are painful and cumbersome. It's better not to pop them, as they protect the skin from infection and help it heal. The liquid inside the blister will eventually reabsorb into the body. Note that blood blisters are different as they are generally not caused by friction or burns and are obviously filled with blood. In rare cases, large water blisters may need to be drained or may get infected. And in these cases, you should probably see a doctor. Number 4. Earwax 
North Americans spend over 60 million on home ear cleaning products, and 12 million people visit the doctor every year to have earwax removed professionally. However, like snot, earwax is a central part of the body. It keeps the tubes lubricated and keeps the germs and dust from entering the ear and causing damage. And if people just let it be, they wouldn't have so much earwax buildup in the first place. Number 3. Vomiting We know, you know, that vomiting is actually a good thing. Vomiting is a body's way of purging what is considered potentially dangerous substances, from stomach flu to overconsumption of alcohol. Be thankful to your body for getting rid of what doesn't belong. Unfortunately, our bodies don't always know when they are protecting us from something dangerous, when they're just responding to a mild flu or the hormones that cause morning sickness. So not all instances of vomiting are helpful. Number 2. Bacteria Some strains of bacteria can cause nasty infections, but you'd be nothing without it as a whole. In fact, your body contains equal parts of microbial cells, bacteria, viruses and other microbes, and human cells, meaning you're just as much non-human as you are a person. While people are starting to accept that not all bacteria are harmful, hence the proliferation of probiotics. Most still overwhelmingly associate bacteria with disease, but the reality is that fewer than 15% of bacteria in our body can cause illness. And the other 85 helps us survive or at the very least doesn't hurt us. Good bacteria helps us break down and digest our food, boosts our immune system, synthesize vitamins essential to our survival, and keep vaginas free from a number of illnesses including yeast infections. Thank you bacteria. And number one, it's the grossest so far, fecal transplants. Fecal transplants, yep, you read that right. Yes, we are talking about poop from a healthy person is transplanted via enema to a sick person. This method has been found to help people heal from digestion disorders and other types of infections. No, we are not kidding. One study involved more than 300 people who suffered from gastrointestinal diseases found that 92% of the people had their gastro problems solved after a fecal transplant. 